This is one method for a one by one rib tubular cast on that uses a provisional cast on to get started. We'll be using a crochet provisional cast on, but any provisional cast on method can be used with scrap yarn. My blue yarn is my scrap yarn and I will be working in pink for my project. Begin with the length of waist yarn. Cast on half of the total number of stitches you need. If you need an odd number of stitches, cast on half plus one. Once you have enough stitches, you can go ahead and chain a few to remind yourself of which end to unzip from, and then cut your yarn and pull it through. Now we're going to change to our working yarn and work the first row. We're going to start with a knit one, yarn over, and then repeat it to the end. Just knit one, yarn over knit one, yarn over. And on our last stitch, we'll knit one without a yarn over after it. Now we turn and the second row is worked. With our yarn in the front, we're going to slip the first stitch, bring it to the back, knit one into our yarn over, bring the yarn to the front again, slip a stitch purlwise, bring it to the back, knit one into the yarn over. And we're just going to follow that rhythm to the end of the row. And our last stitch will just be slipped. Now we're going to start with a knit one. Bring the yarn to the front and slip one purlwise. Bring the yarn back and knit one. Bring the yarn to the front, slip one purlwise. Bring the yarn to the back and knit one. And continue across the row. When you reach the last stitch, you're just going to knit one. Now we turn and we repeat our row two. So we slip one with the yarn in the front, bring it to the back, and knit one. Slip one purlwise, bring it to the back, knit one. And our last stitch will be slipped purlwise. And row four is the same as row two. You're going to knit one, bring the yarn to the front, slip one, bring the yarn to the back, knit one. Bring the yarn to the front, slip one purlwise, bring the yarn to the back, and knit one. And that completes our setup rows. So now we're going to begin just knitting in one by one ribs, starting with a purl stitch. And I'm just going to purl one, knit one, all the way to the end. That stitch is a purl one. And from there, you just work in pattern and you'll have your nice tubular cast on. When you're ready, you can unzip your scrap yarn or cut it loose, whichever you prefer. If you used another method, you'll wanna just cut it carefully. But since I crocheted it, we can unzip it. It can be a little fussy to unpick the first couple stitches. Once you get them free, you can just unzip that chain and pull your yarn loose. 
and you'll have a nice tubular edge. And when you finish your project, you can use a tubular bind off to match.